With so many digital task management tools, it can be easy to feel overwhelmed. In this video, we wanted to cover 10 game-changing techniques to consider to help you level up your digital task management no matter which app you use. We'll be covering apps such as Google Tasks, Notion, Trello, Occiflow, and Todoist to cover a wide range of task management apps and how to utilize them in the best possible way. If you find this video useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. The first tip we have for you is to try to find the recurring task feature inside of a task management app. And in this case, we'll be showing you inside of Occiflow. So whenever you want to add recurring tasks in Occiflow, let's say that you always want to remember to water the plants on Sunday mornings, you could simply drag this event here and then you could call this water plants. And what you can do is to change this to task and then set the repeat sign to weekly on Sunday. So by doing this, you always remember and it's always going to be in your calendar to do this task. So now for inside of Todoist, we can do the same thing by clicking plus add a task. And then let's say we want the same task. We will water the plants and we're going to add the due date to be recurring. So we want this to be every Sunday and we can click Sunday, August 4th to forever. So now it's on a recurring basis and then you can add task. The next game changing tip we have for you is to be actionable with your tasks. So it's very easy to leave your task creation for later when you have more time. But the ideal way is to create the task immediately when you need to make the task. So in this case, in Occiflow, what we really like is that you can actually connect your Gmail inside of Occiflow whenever you start an email or act activate the Occiflow label on Gmail, what happens is your new task gets automatically inside of the Occiflow inbox. So this really ensures that you're very actionable with your task creation. Maybe Anne will email me about something that I need to create an immediate task for and then nothing falls through the cracks. And in the same sense, if we are in Google Tasks, what's great is that maybe you're adjusting your calendar schedule inside of Google Calendar and then immediately you think of a task, you can immediately switch it over to the Google Tasks or even click in and then create a task immediately through your calendar. So in that sense, if you want to be actionable through your calendar, Google Tasks should also be a really great option for being more actionable with your task creation. The next tip we have is to create time blocks for your tasks. So by having time blocks, it can be a really great way to focus on the tasks that you want to focus on during that specific time frame. So sometimes you don't know exactly how long a task takes, but if you put all of your tasks into the time block, it can be a huge game changer so that you have a dedicated time to actually complete your tasks. In Occiflow, this is very easy. You would simply drag in a box like this and then you could change it to slot. So this turns it into a time slot. And then directly inside of the time slot, you can do things like email and, and then add more tasks inside of the time slot so that you can actually plan all the tasks you plan to do inside of that specific time slot. The next thing we want to talk about is to use subtasks. So you want to break down your bigger tasks into smaller chunks. And in this case, we'll be using Notion as an example. So first, let's go ahead and create a table view database. And once you have a table view, let's say that this is task one. So if you want to turn on subtasks, you can go ahead and click the three dots here, go to customize database, and then you can add sub items, turn on sub items. And then this way you can put subtasks. So this is also a really good way to keep track of smaller tasks that could be a part of a larger task. And you can do this in most task management app systems. The other example we wanted to show you is in Trello. So here, if we're inside of Trello, then we go to, for example, this one, we can go ahead and go to checklist and then we can add it. And this would be subtask, subtasks. And then what's great is when you check one off and you click out, you can see that one out of two is complete to complete this particular card. So the next thing we wanted to talk about is to make sure to choose the right tool when you're looking for a task management app. 
So for example, we're going to be using Occupy as this example, but since we were looking for an all-in-one task management app, Occuflow is one of the best solutions for this. So we can clearly have a calendar, but at the same time, we can actually plan our tasks inside of each time slot, which makes it this kind of hybrid between calendar and task management. And it really allows us to be actionable with our tasks. So in that case, we really love Occuflow. Occuflow also has this new feature if we go to here for AI learning. So it basically starts auto assigning projects based on your previous history and learns more about you as you use it. So in that case, if you want this kind of all encompassing tool, Occuflow can be really amazing for this. On the other hand, we also wanted to show you Google Calendar and Google Tasks because some people want something very simple. And if you're looking for something very simple and easy to use, Google Calendar and Google Tasks combination could be perfect. So it really depends on your needs. If you have so many tools that you need to keep track of, Occuflow could be great. If you simply want a simple to-do list and some basic features, Google Tasks could be easy to use as well. The next thing we wanted to talk about is having the correct view for your task management setup. So in this case, we have Trello over here and Trello is known to be a board based task management system. And nowadays, if you have the premium plan, you can also view these in table, calendar, timeline and so on. But the main draw for Trello is this very easy to use board view. So you can move your cards from to do doing to done, for example, and it's just very intuitive and easy if you like a Kanban board style. And one of the best tools if you're looking for flexible views could be Notion because you can actually go to the three dots here and change any database into a table, board, timeline, calendar, list, or gallery. So if you're someone who wants to be able to view your task list in various different ways, for example, in board view or timeline view, calendar, and so on, Notion could be really great for this, but just be mindful about what kind of view you want to use to view and use your task list as that can also really help with the productivity. Next, we wanted to use Occuflow as an example to talk about how it's so important to avoid multitasking when you're planning your task lists. So what's great about Occuflow is that you can actually use your time slots in a way that you could focus on this time slot and complete tasks that are relating to one thing. So for example, if we have this time slot and the one of the tasks is to email Anne, it would make more sense to put all of your emails and computer activities on here. So for example, send invoice and so on, so that you really make sure that you aren't multitasking during your time slots and choosing a tool that can allow you to do this is very important. The other example we wanted to show you is in Notion. So here we have an example inside of Notion for our to-do list. And basically what's great about this to-do list is that you can also categorize it by category. So in that sense, you can see your house chores, your personal, your work, and so on, so that you can group together tasks that make sense and then you can actually complete them more efficiently. So we would highly recommend grouping and also being mindful not to multitask too much so that all your tasks are in one category. The next game changing tip we have for you is to make sure to plan and reflect so that you can continuously improve on your task management and how you complete your tasks. So in this sense, Occuflow is one of the best because you, there is a built in feature for daily planning and for daily shutdown. So if we go to daily planning, it allows you to see what kind of tasks you did during the day. And then if we go to review today, you can see what happened. And then it, once you're done with the day, you can go to daily shutdown and then you can reassign tasks and kind of review what happened and plan the next day. So by planning and reviewing, it can be super important so that you can start the day on the right foot and make sure to accomplish the prioritized tasks that you have. If we go over into Notion, it's also very easy to do your planning and check-in and reflections here as well. So if we go, for example, to our monthly check-in, you can see all goals such as what kind of things you wanted to accomplish, all your results, all reminders, and all your thoughts. So in this way, you can do either monthly check-ins, weekly check-ins, even daily check-ins if it's going to help you out so that you can really be mindful of how your task management is going and to really be efficient with completing your tasks. 
The next thing we want to talk about is to make sure to gamify your tasks. So it's really important to have fun while you're doing this because otherwise it's hard to keep up with using your digital task tools. And what we love about Akiflow is that you can actually check your daily stats every day so that you can see how things are going and you can go to full statistics and actually see sort of what's going on and what kind of time is spent in events and so on. So this is a really great tool. You can also check with yesterday, this week, last week and so on to really kind of have a great grasp of how you're doing. And not only that, when you do check off a task in Akiflow, it makes a very satisfying sound. So that's also really important for the gamification element. If we go over to Todoist, one thing that's really good about Todoist is that it has this thing called karma points. So the more tasks that you complete, your score goes up here and you can say that 46 completed tasks, weekly, karma, and it says you are a novice. So in this sense, you want to complete more tasks to get up into higher ranks. So this is a really nice gamification way that Todoist has also built in. So make sure to look out for these gamified elements in your task management apps. The final thing we wanted to talk about is that it's really important to have a centralized task system. So whenever all of your tasks are in different locations, it can make it very difficult to keep track of your task list. In this case, in Akiflow, we think that this is one of the best ways to keep a centralized to-do list. And the reason for that is because of its integration. So if we go over to integrations, you can see exactly what kinds of native integrations there are so that you can import all of your tasks into one location. So for example, there's Google Calendar, Slack, Gmail, Microsoft Teams, Todoist, Trello, and all of these tools that can import your tasks directly and automatically and for example with notion if the task gets complete inside of akiflow it also changes the status inside of notion so especially if you're working across many different businesses and teams you might want to have this personalized space so that you can really keep track of all of your tasks in one location you can also add via zapier and also all of these through ifttt so there's really a lot you can do here and we highly recommend akiflow for a centralized to-do list if you're interested in akiflow who is the sponsor of this video be sure to check out the link in the description out of all the tools that we discussed in this video akiflow is one of the best for centralizing your task list as it brings in tasks from all kinds of locations like slack gmail notion and more since we have started using Akiflow, it has been a game changer in our productivity because we have been able to prevent tasks from falling through the cracks. Feel free to let us know if you have any questions or comments and we hope to see you all in the next video.